Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm doing a mascara review on the brand new Damn Girl Mascara from Too Faced Cosmetics. I asked you guys on my Instagram stories if you guys wanted to see a review on this mascara and a lot of you voted for yes, so here I am doing a review. Alright, so some information about this mascara. This is brand new from Too Faced Cosmetics and this is called their Damn Girl Mascara. So this retails for $25 and you get a total of .43 fluid ounces. This is cruelty free, it is vegan, it's paraben free and also gluten free as well. And of course there's also a travel size version of this mascara and that retails for $13. So it says exclusive dual fiber infinity brush, hugs, lifts, and curls. Short bristles load the formula, long bristles dispense product evenly, delivers shocking volume, outrageous curl, and shamelessly thicker lashes. This also claims to be volumizing, lengthening, smudge resistant, flake resistant, non-fading, deep black color intensity. It also says this groundbreaking formula has been injected with air and is already fully loaded. Do not pump. So that was everything mentioned on the website. Now on the uh, PR box, it has even more information about the mascara. I did receive this in PR, by the way. Um, it does say that this is a 24, 24 hour wear mascara. And it also says that it has a whipped kind of melting wax layer melts into each other to create one weightless super layer. So evidently this sort of like whipped melted wax formula in this mascara kind of like really coats your lashes, makes them thick, and you can easily build it up. So I just wanted to mention that as well. So the packaging on the Damn Girl Mascara is really nice. It's sleek, it almost looks like a diamond, and when you hold it in the light and turn it back and forth it almost sparkles like a diamond I think the packaging is really pretty it's really elegant this definitely feels like a plastic material unlike the better than sex mascara this one definitely has a more sleek it almost looks like metal or aluminum and it definitely has a very heavier weight to it so I'm going to hold up both of the wands so you guys can see what the brushes look like so both of these mascaras have a bristly brush it's not a plastic wand so the better than sex mascara wand is definitely a lot thinner it still has that hourglass shape but it's a lot softer it's more she's a little bit more slim now the damn girl mascara is a lot thicker you can see there's more bristles and has more of a very noticeable hourglass shape to it and it really does pinch in that middle part and then it kind of fans out on the bottom and the top so that's just an up close look at both wands side by side. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how they are similar yet they are very much different. So my thoughts on this mascara. So far, I love it. I love how this applies. It holds my curl throughout the day. It doesn't smudge or flake at all. I like how it separates. It makes my lashes look thick. It makes me look like, like I actually have lashes because if you guys know, I've mentioned it many times, but I do not have the best eyelashes. I also really love how this applies to my lower lashes. I mentioned this before in other videos, but I can't wear like a regular mascara on my bottom lashes like how I wear on the top. I usually will use a waterproof mascara. I used to use one from Wet n Wild, but I still haven't found a replacement or dupe for that yet. Luckily, I can actually wear this on my lower lashes. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake and smear around like most mascaras do. I'm also impressed with this because I can also wear this in the heat. I've been to really putting this mascara to the test, wearing it in 93 degree weather, wearing it all day, and I'm really shocked at how this doesn't melt, it doesn't like flake or smudge. Again, those low, those bottom lashes pretty much stay the same until I take this mascara off, which is pretty impressive. I love this wand. I feel like it applies mascara really nicely. It doesn't, I don't get it all over my eyelid and make a mess because I tend to do that with mascaras, but this one just has that right amount of formula in it. I don't, it's hard to describe, but I feel like when I go to apply it, it does a really good job. You know how when you pull a mascara out and use it for the first time, it's really, really wet and it may not apply the best right away, but 
over time as you use it more and more and more it starts to dry out a little bit the formula gets a little bit better i find that i like mascaras after a couple weeks of using them they just get better over time actually i liked this one right away but it has that formula that's kind of like waxy but it builds upon itself really nicely and it's not too wet and i feel like it's the perfect mix of mixture of not too wet not too dry so I want to mention a couple things that I don't like about this mascara. So when I pull it out of the tube, it does have quite a bit of product down here, a little bit more than I would want. So, I mean, I do this with any mascara anyways, but I feel like I have to scrape off a lot of product, like probably more than what I would normally have to do with another type of mascara or another brand. But yeah, I do wish that there wasn't as much product coming out onto the wand, if that makes any sense. And the only other thing I have to really, I guess, complain about or mention, I do wish that it gave me just a little tiny bit more length. If you're looking for a mascara that's super, super lengthening, this is probably not the one for you. But if you are looking for something that does it all, like holds your curl, gives you a decent amount of length, not like a ton, like a crazy amount of length, but gives you the length and the thickness and the volume. If you're looking for a lot of thickness and volume, oh girl, this will definitely give you thick thick lashes all right so comparing the damn girl mascara to the better than sex mascara so the better than sex also retails for 25 dollars you get a total of 0.27 ounces now that's a little bit less than the damn girl mascara you get 0.43 fluid ounces so a little bit more in this one and i think it has to do with the formula though because again it's very thick waxy texture with this mascara so I do like this mascara, but I'm not in love with it, and I'm going to tell you why. So I do like, okay, so the things I like about the mascara, I do like how it makes my lashes look kind of nice and soft and fluttery. It almost looks like you're kind of wearing false lashes. For me, this mascara is a one-coater. I like to do just one good, even, thick coat, and then that's it. Because I feel like if I build this up too much, it just starts to clump and look really weird on me. I don't know what it is about this formula. Another thing about this formula it flakes so bad i know some people love this some people hate it i know a lot of people have mentioned in the past that this does flake on them and i agree it is very very flaky i haven't even been rubbing my eyes or anything today you guys and i've been wearing both of these mascaras for just a short amount of time and i'm going to do an up close right now i'm going to get up to the clip up close to the camera so damn girl on this side and the better than sex on this side can you see all of the flaking already? And I've only been wearing this mascara for a short amount of time. Do you see it? There's some specks here, here. I mean, it's just all over. I hope this is picking up on camera. If not, I'm sorry. No flaking whatsoever on the side with the Damn Girl Mascara. If I had to pick a favorite, 100% goes to the Damn Girl Mascara. I just think they really got the formula right. They really did a great job on this mascara and I wish that they would maybe go back and try to fix the flaky, the flakiness, <laughs> the flaking issue with this mascara because I do think it's still really good. It's just, man, that flaking, it just drives me bananas. <laughs> it really does. So if you guys want to see how both of these look on the eyelashes, let's go ahead and get into the demo part of this video. So first, before I apply my mascara, I always curl my lashes really, really well because my lashes are stubborn. They just want to go like this. They do not want to stay up, so I have to help them with some major crimping. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the Damn Girl Mascara on this side first. All right, so I'm really close to the camera now. So here is one even coat of the Damn Girl Mascara on the top and bottom. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Better Than Sex Mascara on this side and do pretty much the exact same thing. All 
right so here is the better than sex mascara on this side again just an even coat top and bottom and then here's a look side by side so again damn girl mascara on this side and the Too Faced better than sex on this side Alright, so we have two coats of mascara on both sides. Again, Damn Girl on this side with two coats. And then two coats on this side as well. Alright, we're looking real wild here. So we have three coats of the damn girl mascara on this side and then three coats of the better than sex on this side I'm not liking how clumpy my lashes are on this side I really don't like doing three coats but I just want to show you guys what they both look like when you build them up I like this side better I feel like the lashes didn't get as thick and clumpy but still they're thick they look really nice and I look like I actually have lashes on my eyeball. So that's a good thing. So I hope the application was okay for you guys. I hope you could see everything. That is all I have to share with you guys for this demo. And I hope you found that helpful. <laughs> so that is everything you guys. That's my review and demo on the Damn Girl Mascara from Too Faced Cosmetics. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it. And of course, I will put a link to this mascara below in the description box as well as you know the tools and some of the other things if you guys are interested i will go ahead and link everything below if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button it's completely free and i post on every tuesday friday and sometimes on sunday 10 a.m eastern standard time every single week would love to have you come and join the fam here i do lots of cruelty free beauty reviews tutorials and all that fun stuff so i would love to have you don't forget to also follow me on instagram twitter snapchat and facebook here on the screen, you can find my links, Smarter Beauty or Smarter Beauty 09. Pretty easy to remember, and they're also linked below as well. I will catch you all in the next video. Remember, Smarter Beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys. Bye.